Dear participants of the Ukraine in Pokis conference, uh, let me extend my special thank you for uh, this conference and for naming it and for placing Ukraine in the center, taking into consideration the historical and complicated um, uh, page of our history. My name is Maria Kurina. Uh, I'm a human rights defender from Ukraine born and raised in uh, the city of Luhansk. Uh, I'm twice internally displaced person for the last eight years and a half. Uh, my story started from uh, Luhansk um, with uh, Euromaidan protests, peaceful protests, uh, where we all started to realize that we have to be vocal, we have to be responsible citizens, and we are fed up with a uh, non-democratic government. Uh, speaking about my experience of being an uh, internally displaced person and of being a person who, who has uh, lost uh, some sense of uh, home, um, I would uh, say that the thing which was really uh, useful uh, back in 2014 when I had to uh, flee from Luhansk uh, due to the threats to my life uh, because of my pro-Ukrainian activity and position what really what was really useful uh, uh, in my life was uh, the sense of belonging uh, and sense of uh, some a reasonable uh, work I'm doing. I started to volunteer helping another people who were facing displacement, uh, people who were fleeing east of, of Ukraine. I started to volunteer a lot and that's where I found a new community, a new community of uh, the same thinking people. So I think uh, what is probably very very useful and helpful for uh, people uh, who find their uh, refuge in Poland uh, is also to be uh, a part of some more meaningful activity than they are by themselves. And um, uh, of course I also would like to say I'm very grateful for Polish people uh, for opening their homes and opening their hearts for Ukrainians, Ukrainian uh, refugees, uh, who are mostly elderly people, women, and children with and babies, and our pets, of course. Uh, I have never seen such level and uh, such amount of solidarity. I have never faced it before, no matter I'm displaced for the second time. Uh, Warsaw became to me a second home. I can say it uh, truly with uh, very sincerely. Uh, when I fly back and forth because I work for Human Rights Center Zmina as international advocacy uh, manager, I had to do a lot of trips abroad uh, to to help uh, to Ukraine win faster with our international partners. So when I'm flying back to Warsaw, uh, Ukraine doesn't have flight connection, obviously, so I have to go through Warsaw. Uh, I feel like I'm at home almost, and I can say why. First of all, you can see Ukrainian flags everywhere, so please don't take them back, uh, don't, don't put them out. It's, it's really important for us to see them, and it's not a sign of uh, somehow, some sort of Ukrainization of Poland, which uh, uh, some voices I already heard. No, uh, you should understand that for, for Ukrainians, when you see our flag, uh, when we see our flag, uh, this is sometimes for some people the only thing uh, that is left uh, as a sense of homeland. Uh, some, pe some people's homes are destroyed, uh, Russians uh, ha have been deliberately destroying civilian uh, infrastructure and our homes, erasing uh, the whole cities from the to the ground. So when we see something Ukrainian, it reminds us about our identity and that the hope is there. And uh, of course, all the Ukrainians have uh, no doubts we will win. And talking about practicalities. Uh, please perceive Ukrainians as uh, winners, 
because we are staying, we are a shield of all Europe, including Poland. We are staying, we will not give up, we will win. The cost is very pricey for us, but we will win. The, the truth will win and democracy will win. So perceive Ukrainians as asset, as an asset to your communities, uh, not uh, victims. Uh, and try to step in uh, into our shoes how it is to pack your emergency backpack in 30 minutes take your pets or children and leave your home not knowing whether you will be able to go back um, another practical recommendation is a very important uh, issue with the psychological state of all ukrainians uh, we all need psychological support. Some do recognize, some do, does not, some people still. The psychological support must be standard-based. There should be specialists who already have a good experience, profound experience in uh, trauma-related uh, therapy, especially uh, therapy related to war, people affected and conflict-affected people, uh, and uh, also people with various um, psychological health uh, issues. Uh, and uh, specifically as a women rights defender, as a feminist, I would like to stress that also women uh, who suffered sexual violence uh, caused by the uh, war in Ukraine uh, need a special, special treatment. Uh, I'm really concerned about those women who were pregnant after the rape and uh, flee and had to flee to Poland and they uh, faced uh, another issue that they uh, could not uh, make an abortion. Uh, I already heard some anti-Ukrainian voices in Poland. They are not that strong. I believe that Poland is, is united to support Ukraine. I believe that Polish people are our brothers and sisters. So um, I hope uh, these voices will not strengthen. It, that is why you, as a uh, vocal and active citizens, must be more united, even more united and more vocal. Uh, and you, of course, understand, I don't even have probably to mention, that our common battle uh, has started. It's, it's really our common battle. Uh, Russia hasn't come to Europe uh, with tanks, by tanks, which is really good. We Ukrainians really would like uh, all this nightmare stops on us because every time it escalates and escalates more, it started with Transnistria in Moldova, it started later with Georgia, uh, then uh, Crimea, then uh, Eastern Ukraine, my motherland, and uh, then we have a full-scale invasion, a full-scale attack on Ukraine, and every time this Russian aggression is escalating, so I don't want uh, this escalation come to Europe. We would like it, it to be stopped on us. Uh, but uh, the war is in European continent already. Uh, it's in informational sphere, in the sphere of disinformation, misinformation, propaganda, aggressive propaganda. It's also, Russia also manipulates and threaten with their energy. Uh, make an energy crisis, food crisis, security crisis, and cyber attacks on the uh, EU. So please stay united, stay united with EU, stay united with Ukraine, and together we will win, and uh, the truth will prevail. Slava Ukraini, and long years to Poland.